when I came to the museums and I saw them on display um, and, and I saw that they were up, I, I got the reaction that I tend to have when I see work um, that I think is being procured unethically by museums that's on display, which is really quite a, like it really makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, I'm South African um, and, you know, I've traveled to museums around the world and I'm very sensitive to this issue and when I see objects that are unethically taken or stolen or looted on display in Western museums, it makes me feel like I don't belong in that museum. And so it was really important for me that they come down immediately or as soon as I could so that other visitors who came to the museum wouldn't feel, wouldn't feel uncomfortable or, or yeah, that, that their cultural heritage or something that perhaps didn't belong to the museum was on display. As you can see, I mean, we had always presented them with an explanation. So I think the previous um, directors and cura curators had a, had a particular approach to this. And so it was an explanation that these objects were taken during the raid of 1897 and an explanation of their history. And we have worked with the Kingdom of Benin um, for many, many years. We did a project with them, the Sultan Alonghi exhibit on their Royal Court photographer. Um, you know, many of our staff has a very good relationship with the Royal Court. Um, and they know that they're here. So it, I, I don't think it's that we'd be hiding anything um, until I came. Um, but I, I felt that we shouldn't have them on display either. So I asked the team, we took them down, and then we explained why we had taken them down, um, which was that we didn't want to perpetuate harm. And the harm involved on African diasporic peoples or African or even indigenous peoples about showing looted work. Um, until which time as their future was to be decided, and their future has to be decided um, by the people who have created them. So um, I took them down, um, and then I called um, Professor Abba Tijani, who's the head of the Nigerian Council of Museums and Monuments, um, which the museum had had a relationship with, and I said, what do you want us to do with them? <laughs> and he said, uh, it would be great to have them back. Um, and then I said, well, let's see what we can do. And that's what we're doing. <laughs>